Do you guys want to go to Game Crazy? Yeah! yeah. Santa Claus! Hey, check this out! Come on! Get into Game Crazy located in select Hollywood video stores and find cool games like Pokemon, Sonic Unleashed, and Mario Kart. Kids, make sure your parents know which games you want for the holidays by filling out your wish list at GameCrazy.com. Oh, eggnog! Hello everybody, I am Trigger Strike for you Blake Tree Gamers, and this is... Ref Sun! Yeah! Yeah! And today, we are talking about Game Crazy Memories. Game Crazy was a video game store, if you don't know, um, that was started around the 2000s, early 2000s, and it was one of the best. Because there was EB Games, which later becomes GameStop, and I'm not a fan of GameStop, just saying that, just putting it out there. I wasn't a fan of EB Games. Really? Yeah. They're overpriced. They became GameStop, but they're already overpriced. Yeah. Like GameStop is overpriced. Yeah, but unfortunately, it's like the only game store around that's a big chain anymore. Yeah, true. Um, yeah, I guess like I liked EB Games because it was just before GameStop made it, so like they were hounding you for, you know, pre-orders and stuff and everything. It was they still didn't have that kind of like mentality. You know, I think. In my opinion, GameStop has kind of loosened on that. Like, you walk in and all of a sudden they're in your face about pre-ordering. <laughs> Hi, do you need help with anything? No, just looking around. Okay, if you have any questions, just ask. And he's going around the corner staring at you. <laughs> yeah, but that's their job, so I guess that's how it goes. But going back to Game Crazy, um, Game Crazy was just chill. It had a very chill environment. They were really cool about, like, playing games, and they um, were just... They just were into the game culture just as much as you. Like usually the person who worked there was really into it. And then you would just sit there and talk games all day. And another thing that was cool about Game Crazy, they let you play every game in the, the store. Yeah. Like, you could just say, hey, I want to try this game out. And they'll just pull it out of the case and let you play it. It's not like going to a Target or even the GameStop these days where they have a demo of a game that you just they just leave there for you to try out. You actually try out the full actual games and it is for however long you, you want to until you feel like you're comfortable with it. Yeah. That's exactly what a store needs to be. Yeah, it was it was really like try it out, see if you like it, and if you enjoy it, buy it. It was kind of that. It was more in for the consumer. Like it was just it was really fun. And then a lot of things that was cool about Game Crazy, they would give you a lot of like kind of like the exclusive GameStop stuff. But the thing that was cool was that if they had any extra, they would just give it to you. They're like, well, we're gonna throw it out anyways. If you want it, here you go. And it was it was so cool. Like they were just really cool environment. And then um, they had like the the deals on the games were amazing. Like all the credit and everything was just just crazy. Like a GameStop sale is really good sometimes when they're like you know trading credit and all that stuff. But get, game crazy like well, that was. 24 hours a day, you know, like 365 days out of the year. They would always have those kind of like deals and sales and it was really cool. So to us, it was like our game store. Like uh, Jared, Jared himself, um, he was into it. Um, I was into it, you were into it. And we were just always hanging out there and it was just really cool. And so we're just kind of trying to remember like the good times when Game Crazy was around because I'm sure you definitely had some good times, you know. Oh yeah, I got so much. I got so much stuff from Game Crazy. Not not in terms of just buying games, because there's that collection back there. <laughs> so. Oh, from Game Crazy, we'd have tournaments too. That was another cool thing. Yeah, about that Game was Crazy. cool. They did have tournaments there. Yeah, they had a lot of tournaments. It was kind of like, uh, kind of like almost like monthly or weekly thing that they would do. It was it was monthly. Yeah. I remember being in their Guitar Hero 2 tournament. I couldn't play Guitar Hero. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun, and that's the thing. That's the thing that that's the atmosphere they brought. That was game crazy. It was just a fun atmosphere. It was just kind of like, hey, dude, what's up? Do you want to play this game? All right, cool. <laughs> Most of the time that we went to Game Crazy was throughout our high school years. Mm -hmm. I went pretty much to Game Crazy ever since throughout my whole high school career. I don't know why I say career. The place sucked. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I make some good friends during the way, everything, like this guy here, and, but every time I went, I got to actually know the people there, you know, that came in, they all, they, they knew me, and I was, I was welcome, and if, you know, like he was saying, there's, they actually give stuff out, and they, you know, because they're going to throw it away anyways, I end up getting so many free items from Game Crazy, just by coming in and saying, hang out with them, and saying hi, what's up, you know, 
that was great. That was a good experience. Never had a better game experience instead of Game Crazy. But like I said, that place was in in in, in some way it was my end of the day, relax, get out of that hellhole that we were in. Mm -hmm. And then continue again the next day. I always looked forward to that every time I got out of school. Yeah, I was kind of the same way. Just like on the weekends, I would always look forward to going Game Crazy, checking out which games come out or what was on sale. It was just really fun. It was a cool environment. It sucks that it, didn't, it doesn't exist anymore. And like, it sucks that honestly, GameStop is only, is like one of the only game chains, actually is the only game chain that's everywhere. When they used to have two and two, two or three, I think there was a third one. Maybe yeah. it was Funko Land. Yeah. yeah. But um, Game Crazy, and then there was GameStop, and then. Um, now, the, I mean, you guys notice that there's GameStops around everywhere, like you said, and you know too that there are stores that are coming up that are local shops that's yeah. kind of doing the exact same thing that Game Crazy did. Yeah, like one here where we're based in, in Arizona is Fallout Games. If you guys ever in the Arizona like area. Or Phoenix area, um, check out Fallout Games. They've got three locations and they're awesome. They're just awesome, like game, it's an awesome game environment. It still like has that cool feeling of like going in there, just check if they have old or new games. Pretty much, you walk in there and you feel like you're at a game crazy. Yeah, I remember they always have these black racks full of games all surrounding the whole store, and then there's TVs and systems for you to try out whatever. Yeah, you can try out whatever game you want to buy there, and it's really cool. So if you, those are one of the game stop, like game uh, stores that still around that actually are kind of keeping the uh, spirit of that kind of area or that environment. So yeah, we just wanted to talk about that because we don't want anybody to forget about Game Crazy because Game Crazy was awesome and it's cool to bring back memories of that. So yeah, guys, to sum this video all up, tell us your stories about Game Crazy if you've ever been or if you ever remember it or if you were just like, yeah, I'm it just the game crazy and I hate him so I never went there. Let us know the story. Tell us all about it. Hope you like this video. Uh, I'm Trigger Strifey of Blank Trigger Gamers. And this Ref is son. Yeah. Yeah. And we're telling you to stay triggered and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching our video. If you liked it, then give it a like. If you want more, then subscribe to our channel. So this is Trigger Strifey of BTG saying stay triggered and I'll see you next time.